Hey you guys, it has been a really long time. It's been two months since I've put up a vlog and I know that's a lot. Um, I wanted to kind of give you guys a life update and let you know that I'm officially back. So several things have happened over the past few months. You guys know that we bought a house back in August. Um, we're still in it, we love it. But um, I kind of started a series of what we were doing on the house and remodeling on all of that. And it kind of went sideways when we stopped going from project to project. And we found termites down in the basement. And we had to basically, like our basement is our living room because this is split level. So we had to rip out our entire living room and it also made the downstairs play space not functional at all. So pretty much we have no living room and no play space. So we've basically been living in the kitchen, dining room, my office, and our bedrooms for the past few months which has been really difficult, um, mostly because we're all very much stacked on top of each other. And like, I have the couches in my office, we got a treadmill and I have that in my office, I'll explain that in a second. And it's just been a lot, but the good news is, um, my husband has been working on the basement every spare second he has. So we're actually working on getting things insulated and drywalled in, finally. Um, it wasn't just termites, it was water issues as well, because they hadn't waterproofed the basement before they started finishing it. So we had to waterproof the basement, we had to test everything, um, it was just... It's just been a nightmare and we're doing it all by ourselves just because I don't want a ton of people in the house with things still going on. So it's been a lot. Um, and then, let's see, in September, I started going through seasonal depression, yay, and anxiety, yay, and it started getting really, really, really bad again. This happens to me every single year. I don't know whether it's because I attempted trying new birth control again. I went ahead and stopped that once I realized things were getting bad. And I'm going to try it again in the summer when I usually don't have depressive issues. And I got a treadmill to start working out and walking on a regular basis because I barely leave the house right now and I wasn't getting in enough physical activity and I know that the, the number one thing before I tried medication again or anything like that is I wanted to work on exercising to try and adjust hormone levels and this and that and no I'm not against medication I've been on medication before multiple times However, the side effects for me aren't great, and if I can do anything else to help, then I prefer doing that first as a first step. And it's actually helped, you guys. It's helped a ton. Um, that's helped. Getting out of the house more has helped. Putting less pressure on myself to do things that make other people happy and just focusing on my little family has helped a ton. Yeah, so I spend about a half an hour to 45 minutes on the treadmill every single morning, just walking a nice stretch, and it's helped a lot. Um, anxiety's a little bit better. Um, I didn't even have a panic attack over Christmas, which yay. And then um, just my general mood and energy levels have been a lot, lot better. So that has helped a ton and was so worth it. Let's see what else is going on. Um, we went to the BTS concert, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, follow me there because the links are down below. I post there a lot more day-to-day -day stuff than I have been posting on here, but that's changing. Um, I loved it. It was amazing. It was so worth the trip. Incredible. Just amazing, amazing experience. I thought about vlogging it, but at the time, I desperately needed a break. I At that point, things were pretty bad for me mentally, and that was the break I needed to kind of 
help reset things a bit. And then, let's see, uh, and then Christmas happened, which was just our little family, very tight-knit. And then um, everyone had a great Christmas, so it was really relaxed. Sorry, my husband keeps texting me. Um, <laughs> Really relaxed, super nice ho holiday. We did traditional Christmas Eve dinner, and then on Christmas Day, we did Korean barbecue, which is like, I think it's going to be our new tradition. We did it last year, and it was amazing. And then, um, let's see, yesterday, I actually went ahead and decided to get the camera I'm filming this on now, and so far the quality looks probably a thousand times better than the camera I was using before. Um, I grabbed a Sony ZV-1. I used to use Sony cameras like forever ago, even before I started YouTube, and then I switched to Canon, I was using Canon for a while, and then I love my G7X, it's amazing, but it's been dropped so many times that the autofocus is like completely busted on it. And it was either by a new G7X or by the Sony, which um, like the focus on it makes the G7X look like a kid's camera. The focus on this is like insane. Like for example, if I show you guys my nails, face. Nails, face, it's crazy. Like I'm in love with this camera so far and I haven't even seen the footage or heard the audio. So I'm hoping, hoping that these turn out good. But I kind of wanted to do this little update for you guys because I am actually leaving for California in a day, day and a half. Today's Monday, I'm leaving Wednesday morning. So like, yeah, it, like, a day and a half. I am leaving for California. So yes, I'm going there again. Um, the reason this time is last time we were there and gone so fast just for the concert, I didn't get to see my family. And this time I have not seen my father since 2018, I think. So a bit of backstory for this trip because normally I don't fly out there. They come to us but my grandmother passed away in March of 2020, right as the pandemic happened and everything shut down. And then a couple months ago, my aunt passed away as well. So we held off doing, my aunt lived in Norway, by the way. Um, we held off doing my grandma's memorial until everyone in the family was able to get vaccinated and people were able to travel again and all of that. And then, of course, we planned it right before Omicron started. But it's planned for December 30th. Not the best timing for me. The reason they planned it that way is because my entire side of the family from Norway is coming. Like, 10 people. Amazing. They're actually already in L.A. right now. And I cannot wait to meet everyone. I have not met anyone from that side of the family yet. So I'm really, really excited but they decided to come to LA over Christmas and then they're staying for the memorial. So um, holidays are stupid expensive to travel. So I'm just going by myself. My flight alone there and back is gonna be over a thousand dollars, which is crazy for a flight to LA. They're not that expensive normally for a single person, but um, we decided since it would be so expensive to fly everyone out and I'm only going to be there literally 36 hours that it wasn't worth it to have everyone come out and we're going to take the whole family on a trip when we can stay there for like a week or more and really spend time with everybody. But um, since this is so quick, just because A, I want to be back home with my family for the holiday, and B, my husband can only get so much time off work this time of year, I need to start taking off my Apple Watch when I film. Um, he can only get so much time off this time of year because when it rains and snows is when his job really tends to pick up because people have leaks. So it's just me going. I'm literally leaving super crazy early in the morning. The day before the event um, for the memorial and the lunch and everything, I'm going to fly there super early in the morning, stay that day, stay that night at a hotel. 
Um, I'm leaving the day before just in case there's any issues with canceled flights or delayed flights. And then um, the next day, next day will be the memorial. And that night I'll be taking a red eye home. So it's going to be a super, super fast trip. It will be my first time ever flying by myself which I'm not nervous because I'm flying this same airline we flew last time so I know all the um all the gates and everything where we're gonna be at and then my dad's gonna pick me up at the airport I'm actually staying like right in the middle of where all the events are happening my family lives down in Rancho Palos Verdes and then we're doing the lunch up in Redondo. So I'm staying in Torrance. So it's as like close to it as I can get to those two places without being too far away from the um, airport. But I haven't even packed yet. I still need to pack you guys. I have been actually getting backpacks ready because we finally got all the kids vaccinated the second it was possible and they are all going back to public school part of the reason i haven't been able to film is because they have been home and i have been homeschooling them through an online digital school but the thing is is for the littler kids basically i'm their teacher all day long which takes up seven to ten hours of my day every single day there was no time between cooking cleaning teaching um everything else just keeping the house from falling apart with my husband's crazy schedule there was li literally zero time like i even filmed a video i filmed a what i bought myself for my birthday haul you guys i haven't even edited it yet like it's just sitting there i haven't even looked at the footage because i don't even know if it's good or not i don't have my full setup still in my office because we have furniture up here so um Right after I get back, we have New Year's, and then the kids start school, and they're super excited. I'm super excited. They actually get to socialize and be around other kids again, and I actually get to spend more time with you guys and doing the things that I like to do, and I think it's going to be better for everyone all the way around. So anyway, I thought about like doing a full house tour and stuff right now, but um, there's like crap everywhere right now. We have nothing fully done at this point. Our kitchen isn't fully done. Um, my office is probably the closest to done, but it still needs painted, and like I need to do baseboards and all that. And then, um, like, downstairs is still a hot mess. But I will go ahead and take some clips for you guys for um, the next vlog when I come back from the trip. I am going to be vlogging the whole trip. A, so I don't feel so alone by myself. B, because I have social anxiety and I'm nervous as heck about going to an event with, like, 40 people, the majority of whom I've either, either never met or haven't seen since I was like two. And then um, just because it's, I love traveling. I hardly ever get to do it. And I wanna take you guys along cause I think it'll be really fun. Besides, who doesn't love a hotel room tour? I love a hotel room tour. Like the amount of flight attendants I follow on YouTube is crazy because I love flying i love um hotel rooms I, I i love all that i know it's weird maybe it's because like my dad's side of the family like my grandfather was a pilot my uncle was a pilot i don't know if it's genetic but i just love it so anyway you guys i'm going to end this here i just wanted to get you guys all caught up before i was like hey i'm getting on the plane now and you're all like what huh so confused what's going on so anyway that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. Um, very sit and chatty, but um, let me know what you think of the video quality, the sound quality out of this camera, if you like it. Um, I'm so happy to be back talking to you guys. This is probably one of the most comfortable, natural things that I do. Like, I know like most people, it's just like, oh, you're just talking to a camera. But for me, this is like, 
I get to talk to you guys and connect with you guys and this is probably one of the things I love doing the most. Editing? Still learning to love editing, but anyway. I'm going to let you guys go. If you don't follow me on Twitter and Instagram, make sure to follow me there. The links are down below. I'm definitely way more active on Instagram, especially in stories, than I am on Twitter lately. I don't know, just... Unless I'm, like, trying to just scroll on it for entertainment, tw Twitter lately has felt off to me. I don't know why, but... Anyway, I'm on Instagram a lot, especially Instagram stories, so... If you're new here, hi, make sure to subscribe. My next vlog is going to be a travel vlog and it's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I can't even remember all the things I'm supposed to say because it has been so long since I've filmed, but I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye.